Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Hobart Reservoir. Or, you know, well, it's a lake, a reservoir, it's both. People come here, it's best known for its tiger and cutthroat trout. I just heard some vocalizations. It was an... Oh, there it is again. It's an... Ah, it's long and it's traveling for miles. This is the fifth one. But anyways, the sun's shining, so it sucks because I can't get a panorama photo because the sun is not behind the mountains just yet, which is probably good because we got to find some tracks along the shore. My feet are already wet. Jared's saving the tripod. Everything's a team effort. Even though my son's 13, we work the, we're equal. We work the same. We do the same. We help each other. So he's, he's very good at helping me. And I think, and it's a shame because there's adults who are not helping me. I also like to, with people, make them feel good and understand that by doing hard work and by working as a team has its benefits. And I think my message is people need to really start They need to start working together, paranormal unity, you know what I'm saying? People need to share research and, and information together. Here's the history. This place is located in the Lake Tahoe, Nevada State Park. It's located between Carson City and Martlett Lake. Martlett Lake's on the other side where I got UFO photograph. My son seen Sasquatch when he fell off his bike, it was staring at him. So Martlet Lake's a pretty mysterious area. I've already talked about the fishing here. The elevation at this reservoir is about 7,650, give or take. Basically, the reservoir holds water back from running down Franktown Creek. Originally, this reservoir is part of a water infrastructure for the mining operations of Virginia City in Gold Hill, Nevada, 30 miles away. According to information given on an interpretive panel at the Red House, further down the creek, the Hobart Dam collapsed twice. And I and this was on the plaque, so I'm just remembering it. But uh, in 1911, it was caused by ice, and in 1955, by a not mentioned cause. Probably just a bad winter. It couldn't hold back the waters. The water from this lake does supply parts of Carson City. Sorry it took me a bit, but I was looking to make sure, see how my son was doing and checking out some people running in the woods. And the vocalization stopped, but I mean, five of them, I don't know. It's just weird someone would just come up here just to scream, just to scream out and over and over and over. It's like, maybe, you know, maybe some, maybe some Sasquatch are people after all, just people trying to make strange vocalizations to try to spook others in the area. Who knows? You know, I do Bigfoot calls, but I don't do it as a joke or a prank. I'm sure sometimes people have reported my vocalizations as Sasquatch, and it's like, it's not Sasquatch. Folks, Hobart Reservoir, it's nice and blue, and it's time to head home soon. We're going to follow the shoreline. Uh, I wish I could get to the other side, but it's all swampy and high grass. There's a fish, just made circles, but it's too swampy in grassland. You're not going to get tracks in that stuff. You get your feet wet. So we're going to really be heading back soon. And then we got to make a four or five mile trek down off the Sierras. So, you know, we're looking at going downhill for 2,500 feet. And peace be with you. Um, if I find any Bigfoot evidence further down the reservoir area, I definitely will turn the cam on. I mean, that's what we're looking for. I found toes earlier in the expedition. It's It's got to make you a little suspicious. I mean, once you see the evidence. Folks, we're following the reservoir. I'm looking for any tracks possible. Ground's very soft and muddy. This is also kind of meadowy, which means a deer... The deer like to graze here, plus, not just the deer, but you know, it's. I've heard of an article recently that Bigfoot hunts for fish. 
I don't know. Bears do it. This is coming to a close here. We gotta head back to the road. There doesn't... Yeah, this is getting swampy. We'll go around. Oh, we can still follow it, just keep a distance. It's still soft up here. But see how it's getting thick? Yeah. It means we're gonna have to cut through the woods soon to the road, you know? And just take the road. It goes uphill for a while, but then it goes back downhill for 2,000 feet. So I could deal with going downhill 2,000 feet. I don't even need. Whoa, did you see that? That's not. Hey, wait. But why? Do you want to smell it? No. Okay. Just joking. Um, anyways, it's soft here, but I don't, I'm making prints. I'm making prints, but I don't see any prints here. Cut your left. Get out of the swamp stuff. Here, go through here. This is it. It's all swampland. But you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we did try. This is, this is you know, the Tahoe the Tahoe State Park. It's part of the Humboldt Tyobi Forest as well. They both meet right here. Well, the park is not the National Forest. This is just the Tahoe Park. It's not really a park. I mean, when you really look at it, it's more of a... Uh... Whoa! Whoa! That's why I jumped. Holy crap! Look at that! Look at your foot! Oh my god! Dear Lord, and I'm mentioning, I'm talking to myself, dear Lord Rick, dear Lord Rick, you idiot. All right, I scolded myself, no need to scold me, folks. Anyways, this is a dismal, eerie, dark forest. Not dark, but it's getting dark, and that's not why we're heading back, because we're scared. I just wanted to say, my good friends, especially those in England and Australia and South Africa, all my good friends, wait. Cheers, mates. Until next time. Dude, somebody, something just almost hit me in the head. A stick. I don't know. It could just be... It could have fell out of the tree. There's chipmunks and squirrels. I'm not saying it's Bigfoot. I'm saying it's just probably a squirrel. But not as many fall colors as you'd expect. Jared, I'll be right there. I got to take one more pick. Go up to the sign. I'll meet you at the sign. But uh, I'm just, you know, I'm looking around for any more tracks before dark. Trying to get in all I can get in. See, I'm a, I'm a slave driver and a workhorse. Check it out. Beautiful patch of fall colors. And there's glares because of the sun right now. It's not because of my lens or anything. Just, just to let people know. Because the sun's kind of gleaming off the lake and causing that.